Hello there guys, it's Joel here aka Galax and welcome back to my YouTube channel and 2021. Thank god 2020 is over, but we are not done with the year quite yet because today I want to go over my best purchases of 2020 itself. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Um, I gonna be posting, I've had a couple of weeks off um, for Christmas and New Year. I hope you all had an amazing uh, New Year Christmas or however you spend the holidays. Uh, me and Scott have had a really nice Christmas here by ourselves in London. I literally just posted a community post as well. So if you go to my page, you go to the community tab. I asked you guys what kind of videos you wanna see from me in the future. So you're either welcome to go vote on that poll or in the comments below, tell me what kind of videos you'd like to see from me this year. As well as here on YouTube, I post over on my Instagram nearly every single day, some outfit inspo for you guys, which is at Galax, which you can check out here. There are many factors as what makes things something a good purchase, so we will be exploring that right now. So the first piece from 2020 that I, that all pieces that I purchased within the realm of 2020, um, that's what I had to kind of narrow it down to. The thing um, that I think I've got the most wear out of, like the thing that I've worn the most and the thing that I think has been worth it in terms of price and like cost per wear um, would be these Nike uh, Jordans that I picked up. Um, if you've been subscribed for a while, you might have seen me unbox these, but I've been obsessed with these. Um, mainly because of the colorway, like I'm not a massive Nike Jordan collector, like I don't know anything about them except obviously there was a big hype about the Dior ones this year, which I didn't pick up, um, but I did pick up these before that. I think these are super, super versatile. They actually just released a new collaboration with Ambush, um, which look very, very similar to these, but they were really, really hard to get. They were obviously also really hard to get hold of, so I didn't end up copying a pair of those. And I already had these, so I thought, these are kind of the same thing anyway. Um, people nicknamed these the pandas because of the colorway. For me personally, they're iconic in terms of Air Jordans, especially for my kind of black and white minimal wardrobe. They go with everything. I actually ended up picking them up on GOAT, um, but I ended up paying a lot of customs charges. Uh, I should have just gone with StockX because I think they would have come from Europe at the time, uh, but now obviously that doesn't matter anyway because we'll be paying custom charges on stuff from Europe as well. So um, yeah, I've worn these so much throughout the year and I think they were such a good investment um, on my behalf. Uh, so yeah, that is the first best purchase of 2020. Next up, I'm wearing it. <laughs> we spent a lot of time inside in 2020. Um, so I invested in a really, really nice tracksuit. This is the Nike Stussy collaboration that came out earlier in the year. Uh, I got this and the matching sweatpants as well. I actually did pick these up on StockX and I got them around the time of my birthday because I thought if we're gonna be inside a lot, I wanna have a comfortable tracksuit to wear on the house. The quality is really, really good. Um, it's very, very comfortable and it's super oversized as well, which is perfect for moi. Next up, now I got this more towards the end of the year, um, so I haven't had much chance to wear it yet, especially since we're not been going outside that much, um, but I'm obsessed with it. It is by far one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe, and that is the Balenciaga lunch box bag. This was featured in the runway show, and I was obsessed with it ever since I saw it. Um, it's beautiful, the design is amazing. Um, it has a strap inside as well, so you can wear it crossbody, but also a little handle so you can carry it like a lunchbox itself. It's obviously one of the more ridiculous things that nobody needs, um, but I love it. Um, obviously a huge fan of Balenciaga myself, um, so this is really, really special to me. I um, did a whole like unboxing review kind of video of it as well, so I will leave that linked in the description box if you're interested in seeing more about this. Um, but this was another great purchase from 2020. Next up, now this piece was actually gifted to me um, by Cold Laundry. Cold Laundry is an amazing young brand here in London um, and I urge you to check out their pieces if you've not already. This is from their latest collection, the Autumn Winter Collection, and it is a kind of creamy off-white suit. Um, I actually got gifted this because I did a collaboration with Instagram over on my Instagram. Yes, card. Not to gloat or anything, but that was probably 
one of my great achievements from last year as well, actually doing a paid collaboration with Instagram itself. And the fact that it highlighted the small businesses here in London that use the Instagram shop feature and called Laundry as one of them. So I got to pick some pieces to showcase their products. And I was obsessed with this from when I saw it. Yeah, the, like I said, the fit is sublime. The trousers fit perfectly. I love the oversized boxiness of the blazer. It is just chef's kiss. So this, again, even though obviously I didn't purchase it, I definitely would have done it. If I wasn't gifted it, I definitely would have purchased it and it would remain on this list as one of the best purchases of 2020. Next up, now I bought these just before uh, the pandemic kicked off in March, well I know they've been around before that but that's when things really got heated here in the UK, but me and my friend uh, Tom had just been to New York and I bought these for the New York trip to wear over there and they are still one of my favourite purchases of the year because they are iconic. Um, we saw a lot of pockets on boots after this. Um, they're just super super cute and you can take the, the pockets off as well which I did most of the time and wore them just without the pockets and even without the pockets they're really really nice boots. Just look at the sole on these beauties. Obviously if you follow me on Instagram and watch my videos you'll see that I wear my Bottegas a lot. Or probably a lot more than these but I did buy those in 2019 so technically I couldn't include them in this list. Um, but even though I haven't worn these as much, they're still one of my favourite purchases from 2020 itself just because they are so iconic and so, such a beautiful piece. So yeah, that's why I included them. <laughs> I, haven't, I actually haven't shown this on the channel yet because I've just not, I've not had an unboxing video since purchasing it towards the end of the year. But I really, really wanted this kind of like black overcoat with strong shoulders that went like past my knees. Um, just to create that kind of like long boxy silhouette, which is, this is perfect. It's from a Korean brand called Dunst Official, um, which I actually picked up on W Concept. W Concept is a really, really great store that has loads of upcoming young brands from a lot of international designers as well, or international brands. Um, so if you've not checked W Concept, then I definitely would. Um, but yeah, I got this from Dunst Official on there and it's absolutely perfect. Like it's the perfect winter coat. I'm obsessed with this. I definitely bought a lot less in 2020, but I feel like I purchased the right things like sneakers that I can wear with every single outfit or track suits that I can wear even at home. Then, and if I am going outside, then a warm jacket because it's literally freezing now here in London. But yeah, I will try and leave links to everything that I mentioned in the description box below. Please let me know your best purchase of 2020. It'd be great to start a conversation in the comments. And again, let me know of any suggestions for future videos this year. I'm very excited for what this year has to hold. A lot of exciting things coming up. So yeah. Like I said at the start, I hope you've had a great holiday season and a happy new year to you as well. And I will see you soon. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.